Hello everyone, this is ACH AIA Akaya, and I am bringing you another 1v1 matchup from the Wrath of the Zell Naga tournament from the SC2 Armory site. This is going to game uh, be a game BSOS versus Green, uh, who I believe is actually the Green Machine on the SC2 Armory site. But anyways, BSOS is playing as Zerg. You are going to see he is the Green Zerg here in the top right corner. Um, and in the bottom left here, we have the Purple Protoss uh, playing as Green. So uh, this map is going to be on Steps of War here which is a two-player map, but something very unique about this map compared to a lot of the other 2v2 maps is the rush distance by ground between the two bases is extremely short, um, which also which makes um, a lot of rush strategies and cheese strategies uh, very viable because of how short that rush distance is. Um, so we'll see if anybody pulls out a unique uh, strategy here, this being the first game in the series. Um, sometimes the player players will like to try something different on the first game to see if they can throw their opponents off and uh, maybe get a quick win or a you know win without a more standard gameplay um, although looking at the way this is laying out initially we do see the initial pylon going in green space um, so he is not going to be trying to pull off any strategy there's no going to be I'm sorry there's not going to be any proxy gateways or anything like that since the pylon uh, has been started in his base so and it looks like there is a drone going across the map from BSOS as well so we may see a uh, oh wow and getting a quick surround on that probe here um, losing a little bit of mining time but he manages to take out the scout immediately as soon as it gets in there so he's not even going to get to see the spawning pool timing or anything so uh, very very good reaction there by BSOS to get that uh, to get that scout out as quickly as possible and it looks like he does have a drone still inside the base of green uh, uh, he is going to be able to scout that there is this pylon and gateway. So he is aware at this point that there is no kind of crazy cheese build coming from green right now. So he is going to be able to play a little bit more straight up game. It looks like he has an extractor and a spawning pool going down right now. Um, and typically when you see that, it's going to be the indicator that there will be some speed links out on the map, which um, speed links against Protoss players can be extremely fun. I love going for a speed link build in 1v1 maps, especially on this map, which is such a short rush distance between each other once again. Um, so we'll see if that is indeed what he is trying to do or not. It looks like BSOS is trying to block uh, Green from putting down another gateway here. He does manage to block um, that for a little bit, although it looks like he was actually putting down a cyber core rather than a, uh, a gateway. So we are going to see him tech a little bit quicker. Um, and he does have one gas up and running already, so we may see some sentries out early. Uh, the sentries, of course, negate that speedling rush because you can drop um, a force field right on the ramp here and stop those zerglings from being able to get up into your base without any problems. Um, and it looks like the overlord from BSOS finally making it to the base of green, so he's going to have eyes overhead um, and be able to see what's going on, although the drone is still inside the base and is scouting uh, currently, so uh, he has all the intel he needs on what's going on. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like green does have another probe outside of BSOS's base, uh, so I don't, I'm not sure if he's going to try to set up a proxy pylon here for the warp gate technology, um, or if he is just getting ready to try to make a run in there and try to do a little bit of scouting, uh, but it looks like the queen just now finishing for BSOS and of course casting that spawn larva onto the hatchery. It's so crucial getting those extra larva in the early game um, to get your to macro up your drones and also to get uh, those quick zerglings if you're going to be doing that, and he does have the speedling upgrade researching. It's right at about uh, 50% there nearly, and he he does have a pretty good saturation on drones uh, on his mineral line, although I would definitely expect to see him putting more and more out um, as this game moves on. And it looks like that probe is just barely going to manage to sneak by there. He's going to get a quick glimpse of the base. Didn't really get to see a whole lot. Obviously, he knows there's a spawning pull-up because the Zerglings are there, um, but he did not get to see the Roach Warren go down, so he will not be able to uh, properly prepare for that unless he just assumes that his enemy is going for those Roaches. Um, and it looks like a quick robotics facility as well, so um, it looks like he is just going to assume that Roaches are on the way and uh, probably start to build some Immortals, although Observers also may be necessary for him since he has not been able to really get a whole lot of scouting off on BSOS's base. Um, he is pretty much in the dark as to what's going on right now, so an observer in that base could be very, very important for him getting a feel for what his opponent is trying to do. And it looks like BSOS has actually lined up six Zerglings on the front entrance to his ramp, so he has actually created a full wall off with those Zerglings. Um, although if a few Zealots came up there, I'm not sure that they would have too many problems getting through there. Um, and it looks like there is a layer upgrade coming for BSOS right now. So we'll see exactly what it is he's trying to do with that. He does have his second uh, gas up 
and running now. So we may see a switch to Mute Attack possibly. I don't know. We'll have to see exactly what he does here. He does not have any upgrades going for his Roaches yet. A few Overlords pop in here to keep up with his supply, of course. And it looks like we are going to see some Roaches pop here in just a second. So in looking at the Robotics Facility, he did get that Observer first. So not committing to building any Immortals yet for that Roach counter. Um, but he is going to have uh, that Observer to go out and see exactly what is going on in that Zerg base since he has not been able to really scout at all. Um, going back to the uh, Protoss player Green's base, he uh, has a third gateway going down right now and a decent amount of units here blocking off the ramp. Obviously these Zerglings are not going to be able to get up there and do any significant damage at all. With three sentries, a Stalker, and a Zealot guarding that entrance, um, Zerglings are not going to be enough to break that down. And it looks like we do have an Immortal coming out right now before he sees the Roaches, although the Observer is getting into the Zerg player's base right now, so he will be aware that the Roaches are there. and. Um, of course, a Hydra is then going up as well. Um, the Roach Hydra combination, very, very common against Protoss players uh, because the Roach Hydra combo is uh, a good counter for the Sentry Force Field, um, which is so difficult to deal with if you're if you're rolling with just Zerglings and Roaches. So we'll see if he's able to hold this off. We actually have a pretty sizable Protoss army already moving out against uh, BSOS on the map here. And all he's got is a handful of Zerglings and Roaches. We'll see if he's able to hold it off with just these units. And it looks like... Uh, moving up, going to attack this Overlord. There's no speed up here for the Overlord yet. And getting a great force field off there right now, able to completely block off five of the Roaches. So he did not get his full army down there. And he manages to take off one Overlord and half of that Zergling Roach army. And the Roaches, for some reason, moving out here, even though they are vastly outnumbered. And a few more Zerglings coming into play. And another great set of force fields right now from, um, from B uh, I'm sorry, Green. And he is able to completely block off BSO as we get down that ramp again with the rest of his forces. Sorry, I keep getting their uh, the names and colors mixed up. But the player named Green is actually purple. And the person he's playing against is green. So it's throwing me off a little bit here. Uh, but we do have some Hydras coming into play right now. And a lot of force fields going down right now. He manages to snipe one sentry. Uh, another sentry going down. But with two Immortals in the mix, he's going to need a large number of Zerglings to deal with this very soon here. Um, and it looks like a couple more Overlords going down. Speed has finished for the Overlords. So they're going to be able to get out of there pretty quickly. And more Hydras coming out. But this is not going to be enough to hold off this attack. I think they're forced to bring out all of his drones to defend against this. And the Queen is going to get Focus Fired now. But no, he backs off and then he brings the drones back into play. More Hydras popping right now to try to help with this. And these drones are going to be able to Focus Fire down a couple of these centuries. Hydra's coming into play here as well, and that Hydra goes down very quickly to that uh, to that Immortal Fire. Meanwhile, back at the base of Green, he is putting up another Nexus right now, continuing to stream out units as he does have that Warp Gate technology, and DSOS is going to GG. So as you can see, that early push can be so devastating with how small the map is. It's just so easy to get units up into your enemy's base very quickly and do some serious damage. We're going to move on to Game 2 right now. GG to DSOS and Green. Let's go.